Good night, teacher. Hello, good night. Let's see who is in the house right now. Hey, yes, I see. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Very good, very good. Everybody's coming. Nice. I hope to have full house tonight. Full house, full house. Good night, teacher. Hello, good night. Welcome to the good class. Night, teacher. Good Thank night. Thank you. Good night. Welcome, everybody. Thank you. Yes, I see Lisette, Karen, Sophia. Connie, Angel, Ruth, Flor, and Noe. There you go. Very nice. Welcome to the class, guys. Let's let's wait a little bit to see who is coming because I only have ten students right now. Ten students. Ten students. Okay. I see Yanina. Very good. I see Lester. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night. Welcome to the class. I see Dennis. Welcome to the class, guys. Welcome. Good night, teacher. One question. Is it raining over there in your house? Because in my house, it's raining very hard. Very hard. Yes. Yes. Yes, it's yeah. raining right I now. Know. Yes. I, I was yes, like, teacher. Uh, good evening. Hey, good night. Good night. It's already 9.07, so it's already good night. Good night. Okay. okay, so let's see. I have 14 students, so let's begin, guys. Yesterday, we were talking about uh, the introduction of, of, the, of the section, of this section number one, and I was telling you that if you can go ahead, if you can advance in the, in the platform, you can do it. Feel free to do that. And if you have any questions, write it down. And in class, you can ask me about anything on the platform, okay? <clears throat> okay. Has anybody of you gone to the platform and work? ¿Alguno de ustedes ya trabajó en la plataforma? ¿Alguno de las lecciones? Yes, yeah? teacher. Nice. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Good. That's good. That's good. Okay. So... I any questions that you had in the platform? Cualquier pregunta que tuvieron en la, en la plataforma, no? Hi, teacher. I have a question. Yes. Eh, pero um, me voy a meter porque no, no sé, I don't, I don't, um, answer. Uh, you didn't answer uh, anything? Only, only one. I, I have a, uh, let me, a second. Okay, go, go, go. Uh, um, hey, I see Fabricio, I see Rocio, and who's new here? Mm. Noé, Noé, Noé. Yeah. Okay, Yanira, what, what is going on? Okay, in the, um, I have, I, in 1.11, uh, in the, uh, a question number four, I, I, I don't know, I, Try how well, how long, how often. I don't know. Yes, those are questions. Well, those are the small questions in the simple present with using how. Mm -hmm. okay, that, that, that's a WH question that mm -hmm. we use mostly in the simple present. So, mm -hmm. for example, when we say how long, si decimos mm -hmm. how long, estamos preguntando por un espacio de tiempo. For, uh -huh. example, for example, I can ask you, Hey, um, for example, I can say, Janira, how long do you study English every night? How long do you study English every night? Entonces, usted mm -hmm. va a decir, oh, I study English for one hour every night. Entonces, el okay. periodo de tiempo se convierte una hora, porque una hora usted estudia inglés todos los días, ¿cierto? Entonces, yes. pero la pregunta va así, how long do mm -hmm. you study English every night? I study okay. English for one hour. For oh, one hour, okay. This is con how long. Pero también mm -hmm. hay otras preguntas. Por ejemplo, tenemos how often. Uh -huh. How often significa con qué frecuencia. Frecuencia, okay. Para, para frecuencia. Con cuánto, cuánto tiempo hace usted una acción. How mm -hmm. many times and, and so on. So, for example, mm -hmm. 
how often mm -hmm. how often do you study english mm -hmm. how often okay. do you study english entonces en ese caso respondemos i always study english okay pero si quiere ser más aragancito usted va a decir mm, i sometimes study english okay ¿Ya? entonces okay. dependiendo de la frecuencia así va a ser lo que lo que va a contestar ok So, pues okay. con how often. ¿Qué otra pregunta tuvo con how? Eh, en, 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 uh, mi error es en la número 4. O sea, la 1, 2 y 3, perfect. Pero la número 4 no sé, porque solo dice type en question mark it, y después not very well actually. I need to take a typing class. Entonces la pregunta es, how well do you type? ¿Qué tan bien digitas? Well? ¿Qué tan bien digitas? How well do you type? How well do you type? Okay. Entonces, me... la pregunta le está diciendo, ¿qué tan bien digitas? Oh, I, I don't... ¿Cómo es la respuesta? I don't know how to type that well. I need lessons. So, le puede decir, no, no sé escribir muy bien. Necesito uh -huh. lecciones. Pero me sale incorrecta. Si intenté esa. Pero How si well dice... do you type? Ajá. Yeah. Uh -huh. Le voy... Lo voy a mandar en el, en el chat. En el chat, mándeme. Ajá, a veces, porque oh, si no oh. me salió. Y, y aprovecho para decir solo a todos. A veces en la plataforma, eh, no, eh, la plataforma no comprende, eh, por ejemplo, los apóstrofes. Tiene que cambiar el teclado a inglés. Mm. También no dejar espacios en blanco entre una palabra a la otra. Y usar la puntuación correcta. El punto al final... Eh, comas y todo eso también tiene que usarlo bien porque muchas veces no pasa de ahí porque le falta una coma uh -huh. o porque no le puso el punto al final o porque uh -huh. hay un espacio de más ¿Got it? ok ok good yeah. y como les digo a veces la puntuación por ejemplo da problemas cuando no entiende el apóstrofe entonces tiene que cambiarse el teclado a, a inglés y ahí sí lo uh -huh. comprende Okay. Me ha pasado con muchos alumnos. Teacher, no puedo hacer esto. Cámbialo a inglés y de un solo se va. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. Um, ok, let's move on. Ya tenemos 19. Yes. Ya tenemos casi casa llena. Casi llena. Ok, let's move on and let's see what we have for tonight. Veamos qué tenemos para el día de hoy. Let's see where is it. Here it is. Ok, this is my presentation. So let's see where we left off. Let's see where we left off. Para decir dónde nos quedamos, let's see where we left off. Okay, remember the rules. In this section, section number one, we're doing, we're talking about routines and exercises. Okay, so let's see. We did this, ya hicimos esto. Ya hicimos el vocabulario. We already did this, this, this. En este nos quedamos, ¿ah? ¿eh? So, este es de la lección 1. ¿Ok? Este es de la lección 1. En la plataforma. So, what time do you usually get up? Mire, aquí está frecuencia, usually. Sometimes, frecuencia. Rarely, frecuencia. Always, mm. frecuencia. Never, frecuencia. Okay? So, this is uh, what you were actually seeing in the platform. Esto es lo que ven en la plataforma, okay? Okay, let's move on. Y vamos con el siguiente. Y este es ya la lección 2. En la lección 2, dice, a shimming indicator. By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. Aquí ya utilizamos más las, los adverbios de frecuencia. Let's see. Wait. A shipment indicator. By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. ¿Todos repitan? By the end of this By very good. Thank you very much. Uh, questions about this? No, right? Cool. No. Moving on. No. So this is for the forum or discussion. 
okay, at the end of the lesson. Esto lo hacemos cada vez que terminamos una lección. Okay. Al final, en, abajo está la, el foro. Ok, number one. How often do you go dancing? How often do you go dancing? Todos. How often do you go dancing? How often do you go dancing? How often do you go dancing? Good. I always go dancing on the weekend. 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 I never go dancing. I never go dancing. I can't dance. I can't dance. I need dance classes. I need dance classes. Good. Let's see. Uh, let's practice. Fabricio, how often do you go dancing? I never go dancing. Good. Ask Felix. Felix, how often do you go dancing? I always go dancing on the weekend. Good. Ask Lisette. Lisette, uh, how often do you do do you go dancing? I never go dancing. I can I cannot dancing. I need dancing classes. I can't believe you. No le creemos. <laughs> no sorry, my bad, my bad. Okay. Um one thing cuando decimos often la T no se pronuncia. Queda muda. Entonces decimos how often, often. La T no se pronuncia. Eso es para que solo está ahí representativo, ¿ok? Ok, Lisette, haz Yanira. Yanira, how often do you go dancing? Yanira, how often do you go dancing? I'm sorry, I never go dancing. I can dance. I need dance classes. Ah, tampoco le creo. Ah, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, Yanira, as uh, Sofia. Sofia, how often do you dancing? Do you go? Do you go dancing? Do you go dancing? Uh, I always go dancing the weekend. Okay, good. Sofia, as Ruth. Ruth, how often do you go dancing? I always go dancing on the weekend. Good. Ruth, at Lester. Uh, Lester, how often do you go dancing? Microphone, Lester, microphone. Thank sorry, you. sorry. Thank, thank you, thank you. I, I never go dancing. You can't dance? No. I don't believe you. Come on, you, you can dance. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right, let's like, go. like a robot, yes, like a robot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ask Karen, please. Karen, how often do you go dancing? I always go dancing on the weekend. Ask Rocio. Rocio, how often do you go dancing? I always go dancing on the weekend. Yes, Rocio, ask Angel. Angel, how often do you go dancing? I never go dancing. I can dance. I dance class. Please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. My God. Okay. Uh, Angel, ask Susan. Susan, are you there? How often do you go dancing? I yes. always go dancing on the weekend. Very good. Ask Connie. Connie. Yes. Okay, Connie, how often do you do you go dancing? I always go dancing on the weekend. Good. Connie, ask Flor. Flor, how often do you go dancing? Uh, I always go dancing on the weekend. Good. Ask Ninette. Ninette, how often do you go dancing? Ninette, microphone. I always go then. Uh, I always go dancing on the weekend. Thank you, Ninette. As Noé. Eh, Noé, who often do you go dancing? 
I never go dancing. Okay, ask Maudi. Maudi. Hi. How, how often do you go dancing? I always go dancing on the weekend. Thank you. Ask Carla. Hi, Carla. Hello. Maudi. How often do you go dancing? I always go dancing on the weekend. Good. Carla, ask Elam. Elam? Yes. How often do you go dancing? I always go dancing on the weekend. Very good. Very good. So I see, um, ask Stephanie. Okay, Stephanie, how often do you go dancing? Hi, good night. Uh, I usually go dancing on the weekend. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's go with, the, with number two. Number two, how often do you cook breakfast? In this one, you can choose breakfast, lunch, or dinner, okay? How often do you cook breakfast, everybody? How often do you cook breakfast? How do you cook breakfast? How often do you cook lunch? How often do you cook lunch? How often do you cook dinner? How often do you cook dinner? Vale, aquí hay un caso curioso en el cual la palabra perfecta es cook para cocinar, pero también se puede utilizar el verbo have, que es tener. Pero en inglés también puede decir para comer, se dice have dinner, have lunch, or have uh, uh, breakfast. So, ahí estamos diciendo comer, pero el verbo es tener, pero también significa comer. ¿Me entiende? Ok, so, in the answer, en la respuesta vamos a decir, I rarely cook lunch. ¿Todos? I rarely, I rarely, I rarely cook, lunch. cook lunch. I rarely cook lunch. I hardly ever cook dinner. I hardly, I hardly ever cook dinner. Very good. Okay, Sofia, how often do you cook breakfast? I really cook mm -hmm. Teacher, sorry, I have a question. Yes. What's the meaning hardly ever? Casi nunca. Casi nunca. Okay, okay, thank you. Rarely is rara vez. Okay? Sí, sí, sí. Okay. Sofía, ask Carla. Uh, Carla, how often did you cook uh, lunch? I hardly ever cook dinner. Okay, uh, ask Maudi. Maudi, how often do you cook breakfast? I hardly cook lunch. Ask Connie. Hi, Connie. How often do you cook uh, lunch? I rarely cook lunch. Okay, as a lamb. How often do you cook dinner? I hardly ever cook dinner. Good, as Noé. Uh, how often do you cook lunch? Mm. I rarely cook lunch. Good. Ask um, Flor. Flor, how, how often do you cook dinner? Um, I hardly ever, uh, ever cook dinner. Good. Ask uh, Susan. Susan, how often do you cook breakfast? I rarely cook breakfast. Ask Karen. Karen, how often do you cook lunch? Mm. I rarely cook lunch. Good. Ask um, Ronald. Ronald, how often do you cook breakfast? I rarely cook breakfast. Good. Ask Janira. Uh, Janira, how often do you cook lunch? I rarely cook lunch. 
Ask Lynette. Lynette, how often do you cook uh, dinner? I hardly ever cook dinner. Good. Ask Angel. Perdón, sorry. Ask Angel. Okay, Angel, uh, how often do you cook lunch? I hardly ever cook lunch. Good. Ask Felix. Felix, how often do you cook breakfast? I hardly ever cook dinner. Okay, as Rocio. Rocio, how often do you cook breakfast? I hardly ever cook breakfast. Good, as Denny. Dennis, how often do you cook breakfast? I hardly ever cook breakfast. Hey, ask Fabricio. Fabricio, how often do you cook dinner? I hardly ever cook dinner. Ask Lester. Lester, how often do you cook breakfast? I hardly ever cook breakfast. Ask Lisette. Lisette, how often do you cook lunch? I rarely cook lunch. I hardly ever. I hardly ever. Okay, good. If you if you ask me, if you say, "Hey, Tony, how often do you cook breakfast?" Mm, I usually cook breakfast. But if you ask me, uh, "Hey, Tony, how 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 often do you cook lunch?" Mm, I rarely cook lunch. And if you ask me. How often do you cook dinner? I never cook dinner. Okay, so that's me. Let's go to the next. Listen, how often do you watch the news on TV? How often do you watch the news on TV? Everybody? How often, how often do, you do, watch you watch do you watch the news on TV? How often do you watch the news on TV? How often do you watch the news on TV? On TV? On TV? I always watch the news on TV. I like post news. Everybody? I always watch the news on TV. I like Fox News. I always watch the news on TV. I like Fox News. Good. Uh, Dennis, how often do you watch the news on TV? I always watch the news on TV. I like Fox News. Very good, Dennis. Uh, ask Sophia, please. Sophia, how often do you watch the news on TV? No, Ruth. Ruth, how often do you watch the news on TV? I always watch the news on TV. I like Fox News. Very good. Ask Rocio. Rocio, how often do you watch the news on TV? Ruth, I often. Ruth, often. No, no pronuncia la T. Often. 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 Okay. Okay. I always watch the news on TV. I like Fox News. Good. Ask Fabricio. Fabricio, how often do you watch the news on TV? I always watch the news on TV. I like Fox News. Good. Ask Felix. Felix, how often do you watch the news TV on TV? I always watch the news on TV. I like Fox News. Good. Ask Ronald. Felix. Ask Ronald. Yes. Ronald, how often do you watch the news on TV? The news, the news. news. The news. The news. I always watch the news on TV. I like Fox News. Good. Ask Ninette. Uh, Ninette, how often do you watch the news on TV? I always watch the news on TV. I like Fox News. Good. Ask Leticia. Leticia, how often do you watch the news on TV? 
I always watch the news on TV. I like Fox News. Good. Ask Angel. Angel, how often do you watch the news on TV? I always watch TV on TV. <laughs> I like <What>? Fox News. <laughs> One more time, Angel. <laughs> <laughs> I always watch the news on TV. I like Fox News. Good. Angel, ask Janina. <laughs> Janina, how often do you watch the news on TV? I always watch the news on TV. I like for news. Fox News, sorry. Good, good, good. Ask Karen. Uh, Karen, how often do you watch the news on TV? I always watch. We. Oui, I always. <laughs> I always always watch the news on TV. I like Fox News. Good. Ask Lester. Lester, how often do you watch the news on TV? I always watch the news on TV. I like Fox News. Ask Susan. Susan, how often do you watch the news on TV? I, all, I always watch the news on TV. I like Fox News. Good. Ask Connie. Connie, how often do you watch the news on TV? I always watch the news on TV. I like? I like Fox News. Good. Ask Flor. Ask Flor. Yes. Flor, how often do you watch the news on TV? I always watch the news on TV, I like for news. Thank you. Uh, as Noe. How often do you watch the news on TV? I always watch the news on TV. I like Fox News. Good. As Mauri. How often do you watch the news on TV? I always watch the news on TV. I like Fox News. Good. As Karen. Hi, Karen. Karen? Hi, sorry. It's okay, it's okay, don't worry. Okay, how often do you watch the news on TV? I always watch the news on TV. I like Fox News. Ask Carla. Yeah. Sorry? Ask Carla Torrente. Carlita Torrente. How often do you watch the news on TV? I always uh, watch the news on TV. I like Fox News. Good. Ask Stephanie. Stephanie, how often do you watch the news on TV? Um, hi. I always watch the news on TV. I like Fox News. Good. Ask the mom. Uh, the third the third question the same one how often do you watch the, the news on tv oh, okay okay how often do you watch the news on tv i always watch the news on tv i like fox news okay good so let's go to the last one the last one how often do you play basketball? Everybody, how often do you play basketball? 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 Okay, let's go to the answer. I sometimes play basketball with some co-workers. Everybody? I sometimes, sometimes play basketball with some co-workers. I sometimes play basketball with some co-workers. I sometimes play basketball with some co-workers. Okay, um, be careful. Be careful with the word co-workers. 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 Who has a question? Can tiene una pregunta? Hi, me um. What is the meaning co-workers? Eh, compañeros de trabajo. Oh. Okay, por ejemplo, eh, Elnam, Carla, Noé, Sofía, 
Susan, todas ellas son sus classmates, compañeros de clase, classmates. Ok, classmates. Pero compañeros de trabajo son coworkers, coworkers. Coworkers. Co Mucha co gente dice, eh, my, ¿cómo fue que me dijeron hoy en la mañana? Me dice, alguien me dijo, teacher, eh, son mis compañeros de trabajo, se dice, y me dijo otra, ¿cómo fue que me dijo? Partners. Partners, no, partners es compañero de vida. Ok, be careful, be careful. Ah. So, co-workers, co-workers. Co okay. co uh, sorry, teacher. Yeah. Eh, partners, esa es la única traducción. Porque, no, 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 por no. ejemplo, puede ser, ajá, puede ser eh, que hagan cuando uno trabaja, ajá. Ajá, mm -hmm. cuando uno trabaja y hay como, por ejemplo, empresas que trabajan de una manera similar o que se complementan, entonces uno se refiere sí, a las partner, empresas como partner. partner. Sí, 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 ahí sí. Pero ese ya, ya como en, como que enlazan a la otra empresa, ¿ya? Sí. Ya, okay. good. Ok, let's see. Sofía, how often do you play basketball? I sometimes play basketball with some co-workers. Good. Ask Elam. Yes, okay. How often do you play basketball? I sometimes play basketball with some co-workers. Co-workers, co-workers. Co-workers. Good. Ask Carla. How often do you play basketball? I sometimes play basketball with some co-workers. That's Noé. Noé, how often do you play basketball? I sometimes play basketball with some co-workers. Good. Ask Flor. Flor, how often do you play basketball? I sometimes play basketball with some uh, co-workers. Ask Connie. Connie, how often do you play basketball? I sometimes play basketball with my with some co-workers. Good. Ask Susan. Susan, how often do you play basketball? I sometimes play basketball with some cowards. That's good. That's good. How often do you play basketball? I sometimes play basketball with some co-workers. That's Rocio. Rocio, how often do you play basketball? I sometimes play basketball with some co-workers. Ask Karen. Karen, how often do you play basketball? I sometimes play basketball with some co-workers. Good. Ask Angel. Angel, how often Hi. do you play basketball? Hi, Angel. <laughs> <laughs> how are you? I sometimes play basketball with some co-workers. Good. Ask Lester. Hi, Lester. How often do you play basketball? Hi Angel, I sometimes play basketball with my with some co-workers. Thank you, Lester. Ask Janina. Janina, how often do you play basketball? I sometimes play basketball with some co-workers. Good. Ask Ronald. Ronald, how often do you play basketball? I sometimes play basketball with some power. Good. As Felix. Uh, Felix, how often do you play basketball? I sometimes play basketball with some co worker. Good. As Lynette. Lynette, how often, how often do you play basketball? I um, sometimes play basketball with some co-workers. As Dennis. Dennis, how often do you play basketball? Dennis? Sorry. Um, I sometimes play basketball with some co-workers. Good. As Fabricio. 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 How often do you play basketball? 
and sometimes play basketball with some co-workers. Good, as we said. He said, how often do you play basketball? I sometimes play basketball with some co-workers. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, listen. Okay, that is with the platform. So right now I prepare a little lesson about uh, how we use and what do they mean uh, with the frequency? Uh, how do we use the advert of frequency in some parts? So let me just open this um, this this little. Um, let me just open it here. Wait, wait, wait. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Okay. Now I lost it. Wait a sec. There it is. So this is intermediate two. Uh, how often do you exercise? And adverse frequency. Here we go. Sorry guys, I thought I had it open already, but I'm I'm looking for it. So this is something that I prepared so you can have more knowledge about how to use um this adverb of frequencies. Okay. So let's see. Let me share it with you guys. Here we go. Let me know when you see it, okay? Can you see it? Yes. Okay, good. So what yes. we're going to do is that we're going to go and explaining and reading about what are uh, these other frequency, okay? And the achievement indicator for this is identify, discuss, and talk about others of frequency. And this is one example. I always get up very early to go to work. So there are some common adverb of frequency. Hay muchos adverbios de frecuencia que son comunes. Las que más se conocen son always, sometimes, y never. Son las que más se conocen, pero hay muchas más. Veámoslo. ¿Listos? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, yeah. let's do this. Let's yes. do this. Nice. Yes. That's what I like. That, that's the attitude, guys. This is like the eh? Hey, <laughs> let's go. Okay, address or frequency. Okay, address. Okay, first to read is Sophia. Sophia, can you read this slide, please? Adverbs of frequency tell us how often, sometimes, in some, something, and down. Other of frequency include always, constantly, continually, frequently, infrequently, intermittently, normally, occasionally, often, periodically, rarely, regularly, seldom, sometimes, etc. 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 Good. As you can see, guys, see these ones, uh, you never heard of this one. Intermittently occasionally, infrequently. So those are adverbs of frequency too. The thing is that most people don't use them. Muchas veces nadie ha conocido más, más adverbios de frecuencia como always, sometimes, and never. Pero miren, hay muchos más. Okay, any questions that you may have here? Alguna pregunta que tengan acá sobre vocabulario o algo? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. What is the mean of seldom? Seldom, pocas veces. Seldom, pocas veces. Okay. Casi nadie utiliza seldom. Pero es bien, bien usual decir, por ejemplo, I seldom watch uh, soap operas. I seldom watch soap operas. Pocas veces veo novelas. Okay. Uh, what's the meaning intermittently? Intermittentemente. Es decir, que una acción hace una pausa y vuelve a suceder. Una pausa y vuelve a suceder. Any other okay. question? Thanks. Okay, cool. Let's move on. Okay, Stephanie, can you read this, please? Yes. Um, I always do my homework on time. In this sentence, always shows us the frequency. How often I do my homework on time. Just gas out occasion, occasionally 
in these sentences occasionally show us the frequency. How often she goes out? Good, thank you very much. Okay, um, in this case, this example is like homework. You have to do homework when you are studying. So for me, and in my example, I always done my homework on time, always, all the time. Now, what does it mean when, when it says she goes out? What does that mean, she goes out? ¿Qué significa eso, goes out? Sale fuera o se va. Salir. Sale. Salir, ah, baja. Salir. Yeah, salir. Como por ejemplo, like when on Saturday night or Friday night, you go out with your friends. So, eso es salir, pero a vacilar, a, a disfrutar, okay? Good. Any questions, guys? Preguntas? No. No. Uh, no. Okay, good. Let's move on then. Vamos a la siguiente. Uh, Flor, can you read this? Most uh, frequent adverbs, always, constantly, nearly, always, almost, always, usually, generally, 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 generally sorry, normally, regularly, often, and frequently. Free, frequently, frequently. Frequent, frequent. Frequently. Very good. Thank you. Frequent. Okay, see, these are some of the common ones. Uh, like constantly, casi nadie lo usa. Nearly always, casi nadie lo usa. Uh, almost always, tampoco casi nadie lo usa. But see, how many do you have? Questions, guys? Any questions? No, we're good. Uh, what's the meaning of uh, nearly? Nearly always. Uh, like... Always es siempre, pero nearly es cerca, cerca siempre. And this is used in time. For example, eh, nearly always there is a concert in, in the stadium. Like, it's using in a period of time. Es usado para periodo de tiempo. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, who's next? Let me see. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. Okay, Lisette, can you read this, please? Leas frequently advert sometimes periodically, occasionally. No, and change owns once, in a, once, once in a while. Once in a while, rarely, seldom, infrequently, hardly, ever, scarcely, ever, almost never, never. Very good. Thank you very much. Questions? What is the meaning of scarcely ever? Es, es casi igual que decir casi nunca. Pero este como es, scarcely es como... Eh, escasamente, escasamente, quizás. Escasamente, escasamente. Que, que, que es mucho menos que hardly. ¿Ok? Escasamente. That, that was good. That was good. Nice. Any other? What, what is the meaning of once in a while? Eh, como una vez en el tiempo. Una vez al tiempo, una vez al tiempo. Yes, very good, very good. Okay, moving on. Fabricio, can you read this? Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, my bad, my bad. Almost never, casi nunca. Okay, okay. Y Thank casi you. es lo mismo que decir hardly ever. Pero hardly tiene otro, otro sentido, como eh, casi nunca, pero porque cuesta. Por ejemplo, usted casi nunca va un, a una fiesta porque está trabajando. ¿Sí? Es algo así como difícilmente. Difícilmente, oh. ya. Yeah. Como apenas o casi nunca. No, casi nunca es almost, almost never. Esa es la y verdadera casi nunca. Apenas. Uh -huh. Ok. Very good. ¿A quién le dije esto? A mí. Fabricio, ok. Thank you, thank you. Adverbs of frequency appear between appear, appear 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 between the subject and the bear in the sentence. For example, I always update the calendar on the beginning of the month. Lucia often takes notes during the Skype session. Good. So you see, in this part, 
uh, the adverb frequency always appear between the subject and the verb. What is the subject? ¿Qué es esto? What is the subject? I. I, you, yeah, I, you, he, I, she, it, she, you, we, they. Those are the subjects. Very good, very good. And what is the verb? Update. I always update. Like Beginning. Open. No, no, update, update. 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 A beginning is a period of time. Okay. So I update, you update, he updates, she updates, I'm updating, you are updating, she updated, and so on. Okay? Um, very good. Any questions? What's the meaning of date, sorry? Update, actualizar, like your phone. You have to update your phone or your computer. You have to update your computer for the new uh, operating system. Okay? Okay. Very good, nice, nice. Let's see next. Um, who's next to read? Let me see. Uh, Karen, Karen Ramirez, can you read this, please? Okay. Others, others of frequency appear after a form of the to be. And are, is was, were, in a sentence. For example, I am never late. Skype is occasionally frustrating. They were always nice. Very good. So as you can see, remember that the verb be is not to be, it's be. Que es el cero estar. Aquí en El Salvador he descubierto que muchos en la universidad, por ejemplo, cuando llegué a trabajar ahí, yo uh, oía a todos los teachers, los otros teachers de inglés, El verbo to be, and I was like, what? No, this, that's not, that's not, it's be. El tú es una preposición. So it's be, the verb be, ser o estar. So in this case, the B, M, R, is, was where, was where is the past. Es el bien pasado. So these are going to be in a sentence as a form. For example, I am, see, I am, this is el B. Subject B and frequency. Okay, so I I am never late. Any questions? No questions. No, no, no. Cool, no cool. I like it. Remember, I don't want you to have any doubts. Recuerden que no quiero que se vayan con dudas a casita. Okay. Bueno, ya están en casa. Sorry, my bad, my bad. Yo estoy pensando. <laughs> <laughs> what am I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, sorry, my bad, my bad. Okay, let's move on. Uh, okay, uh, let's see next. Um, who's Teacher, next? I have a question. Yes. How to pronounce Skype or, or Skype? Skype. 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 Con la P así. Skype. Skype. Eh, diferente es cuando está hablando de los zapatos. Nike. Nike. Mucha gente se confunde y dice Nike. No, it's Nike. Nike. Okay? Good. Uh, who's next to read? Let's see. Uh, Dennis, can you read this, please? Yes, teacher. Um, adverb of, of fre frequency. Go between an auxiliary verb and the main verb. For example, and doesn't usually smoke. Good, good, very good. Now that we're talking about um, a auxiliary verbs, how many auxiliary verbs do you know? ¿Cuántos verbos auxiliares conocen? Ya deberían de conocer varios. How many auxiliary verbs do you know? Mm, For example, let me give you... Going to, will... Oh, will is not is not auxiliary. Going to is is, is auxiliary. Mm -hmm. Does does do do can what can creo? No yes. no no that's 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 ability that's ability. Um, for yeah. for simple past, what is the, the the auxiliary for simple past? Didn't did 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 did. 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 Uh -huh. What is what are the auxiliary for present perfect? Present perfect. Uh, I and G. 
No, present perfect. Present perfect. Do. No, that's for simple, simple present. Present be, perfect. Be. No, no. Is are. For present perfect is. Is are. Are. are is, and has. Have. Have and has. Have. Have and has. And, and for past continuous. ING. ING. Was and where. Was and where. Was and where. Okay, guys. Guys, you are pre-intermediate. You should know a lot of these things, okay? <laughs> All right, let's, let's move on. Don't worry. Uh, when we go on, I, I'm going to remind you what tenses you should know by now. Yo les voy recordando que, eh, que, que tiempos tienen que saber hasta este momento, okay? Cool. Moving on. Let's see. Um, who's next to read? Rocío, can you read this, please? Is there are two auxiliary verbs, the adverb of frequency goes between them. For example, I have never been to Asia. Asia, Asia. Asia. Yeah. Asia. Okay. As you can see in here, uh, we're talking that if there are uh, two, the, the adverb goes between two auxiliary verbs. In this case, have and been. <laughs> Never have to go in between. Okay? Questions? Mm -hmm. Pretty clear. Very good. Clear like horchata or clear like water? No? Clear like water. <laughs> like water. Okay, like good. Water. Good, good. okay, Ronald, you're next. Ronald. Okay. Uh, the advert of frequency of them. Usually, sometimes and occasionally, can do can go at the beginning of a sentence. For example, usually I don't not I don't have personal advice, and usually the personal advice equals equals I don't usually give personal advice. Okay. And usually I don't give personal advice and I don't usually give give personal advice. Um, occasionally we go for advice on Sunday and where we occasionally will go for advice on Sunday. Sorry. Okay, as you can see the only adverbs that can go at the beginning of the sentences are Usually, sometimes, and occasionally. Other than that, no. Only these ones, okay? That's a rule. Any questions? No. Cool. Moving on. Okay, who's next to read? Let me see. Felix, can you read this, please? Felix? Okay, Leticia, can you, can you read this, please? Okay, teacher. Adverbs of frequency for go before the verb used to or have to. For example, I always use to celebrate both night. I usually have to get up early to work like like. Yes, very good. So as you can see, uh, adverb of frequency go before verbs used to or have to. Used to means a uh, it's a verb that, that we talk about past experiences. El verbo used to lo utilizamos para, uh, para hablar de eh, experiencias pasadas. Y have to, we use it to talk about things that, that are must do. Y, y have to, eh, hablamos de cosas que tenemos que hacer por fuerza. Okay? Questions? Yes, teacher. Uh, what is bonfire? A bonfire is, is a celebration that they have on the Jewish, the Jewish people. La gente judía hace este tipo de, de celebraciones. It's like Halloween for them. For July. Bonfire, no, 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 no. For July is, is, the, is the fire, fireworks, fireworks. 
It's a, it's a type of celebration. Like, let me give you an example here in El Salvador. Cultos, like cultos, here in El Salvador for, for religious. Got it? Son como tipo cultos que hacen los cristianos. La gente cristiana mm. hace cultos y, lo, y los y los católicos hacen misa. So, the Jewish, they go on the bonfire. Reuniones religiosas. Reuniones religiosas. Judías. Ok. Good. So, let's move on. Uh, let's see who's next to read. Uh, I'm getting out of hand here. Uh, Ruth, can you read this, please? When something happens regularly at a fixed time, we can use the following as adverbs. Every day, uh, daily, every week. Every day equals daily. Equals. 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 Es lo que se llama uh, igual. Every, every day equals daily. Every day equals daily. Every week equals weekly. Every fortnight, two weeks uh, equals four, fortnightly. Every month uh, equals monthly. Every year Igual yearly, annually. For example, I get a new pa newspaper every day. Equal, I get the newspaper daily. I pay my rent every month. Equal, I pay my rent monthly. Thank you very much. Okay, as you can see, guys, every day, every week, every fortnight, every month, every year, those are not adverse of frequency, but as we use it, we tend to say that they are. So, no son adverbios de frecuencia, pero son utilizados como si fueran así. Okay? Questions? Yes, teacher. Yeah? I don't understand ever for night. Ever for night? Uh, eh, cada, nightly, but... cada dos semanas por la noche. Cada dos semanas por la noche. Okay. ¿Ok? Como decir cada 15 días. Pero cada, cada 15 días puede ser a cualquier hora. En fortnightly tiene que ser en la noche, solamente. Fortnightly. Sí, 15 días, pero por la noche. ¿Got it? Cool. I got it. Thank you Thank very you. much. All right, let's move on. Ok, y aquí viene un pequeño ejercicio. Todos, atención. Show what you know. Demuestra lo que sabes, según lo que ya hemos leído y entendimos. Let's see. So, look. Weekends, months, on, often, she, work. What is the correct answer? One, two, or three? Yanira, ¿cuál es la respuesta? One, two, or three? Often, work, uh, number three. Number three. Let's see. Let's see. Yes. Woohoo. Let's give an applause to Yanira. Everybody. Very good. Very good. She must often work on weekends. She must often work on weekends. Everybody repeating? She must often, she work, must on often work on weekends. On weekends. What is most, teacher? Tiene que. Es obligación. Demuestra obligación. Es como have to. Tiene siendo lo mismo que have to. Más es obligación. Ok. Uh, moving on. Ok. Ya sabemos la, 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 cómo es la respuesta. Now, what is the question? ¿Cuál es la pregunta para esta respuesta? She must often work on weekends. ¿Cuál es la pregunta? Oh. How often, How often she must, she must work, work on the weekend? Work. Yes. She works on weekends. How often she must work on weekends? 
How often she must work on weekends? Todos. How often she must work on weekends? Work on weekends. Very good. Let's go to number two. Teacher. Yes? I have a question. Yes. Uh, because words, uh, I don't, well, I doesn't have the little s. In this one? In the, words. Uh -huh. Bird word. Por, por, por la, por más. Por, por, el, más. El, por el verbo más. Por eso es que no lleva la O. Ese lo hace tercera persona. Sí, sí. Ya, yeah, pero si solo fuera en presente simple, tendría que llevar la S. Ok? Very good. Gracias. Let's go. What is the correct answer? That occasionally we go movies too. Angel, what is the, the correct answer? One, two, or three? <laughs> I believe the, the number two. <laughs> number two. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, let's give it to Angel. Let's give it to Angel. <laughs> okay, everybody. We occasionally go to the movies. Everybody? We occasionally, we occasionally go, to the, go to, the to the movies. Now, let's, let's go and look for the question. What is the question? Um, how often we go? How often we go to the movies? How often? How often? How often? We go to the movies. Se le está olvidando el auxiliar. How often? How often we go to the movies? El auxiliar, el auxiliar primero. How often? How often do we go to the movies? 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 Good. Okay, Rocio, what is the correct answer here? They go holidays the Dominican Republic for two usual. Um, uh, number one. Number one. Let's see. Yes, let's give it to Rocio. Yay! They usually they usually go to the Dominican Republic for holidays. Everybody. They usually, they usually go to the Dominican, Dominican Republic, Republic for holidays. Good. What is the question? Oh. How often do they go to the Dominican Republic for holidays? For holidays. How often do they go? How often do they go to the Dominican Republic for holidays? Very good. How often do they go to the Dominican Republic for holidays? How often do they go? How often do they go? How often do they go to the Dominican Republic? Good. Nice. Hey, you guys have got it. Got it. Let's go for the, the last one. Okay. Uh, let's see. Leticia, what is the correct answer? Uh, the correct answer is um, number two. I am never rude to my parents. Yes, let's give it to Leticia. Yes. I am never rude to my parents. Everybody. I am never rude to my parents. rude to my parents. What is rude, teacher? I am never rude to my parents. Okay. Uh, what is the question? What is rude, teacher? Rude. Oh. Es eh, eh, mal educado. Mal educado. Rude. What is the question? How often do I am? Do mm. I am rude to my no, parents? No, no. Al oh, revés. Am I, Al revés. Am I, am I, am I, am how I, often am I rude to my parents? How often am I rude to my how parents? How often do you? I am, uh, no. Who, who, sí, who, ojo, ojo. Siento que hay confusión, pero es así. Porque si le está preguntando usted a alguien, usted ahora va a decir, vaya, si, si usted me pregunta, Si usted me está preguntando a mí, yo le voy a responder, I am never rude to my parents. Entonces la pregunta es, how often are you rude to your parents? It's out the question. Uh, how often are you rude to your parents? So yo le voy a responder, I am never rude to my parents. Okay? Okay. Okay, guys. Very nice. We finish. 
Okay. Todos desen un aplauso. Lo hicieron muy bien. You did very nice. Gracias. Cool. Nice class. Nice class. Okay. Um, how do you like this content? ¿Cómo les gustó este contenido? ¿Cómo lo presentamos? Estoy haciendo algo nuevo, así que quiero saber cómo, cómo, cómo les gustó o no les gustó o quieren que ya no lo vuelva a hacer. Está muy bien. Está bien. Está muy bien. Más que evalúa el, el aprendizaje. Nice. Ok, so de hoy en adelante voy, voy, voy a venir con, con lo que tenemos en, el, en la plataforma y además un refuerzo de archivo creado para que le, le refuerce eso, ¿ok? ¿Estamos? Ok. okay. okay. Uh, have a good night, guys. I'll okay. see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Thank you, good night. teacher. Have a good night. Have a good night. Thanks. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Me da con el mensaje, please. Oh, yeah. What's yeah. up? En este momento que me desocupe, ¿ok? Cool. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Have a good night. Have a good night. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. No, no, no sé cómo entrar a la página, a la plataforma donde dejó la tarea ayer. Um, está el, eh, este, o sea, entré al, al módulo pasado si entraba en inglés corporativo punto, entraba a la página web, pero ahora no sé si puedo eh, en sección, eh, la, o hay un enlace ahí. No, 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 el, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Inglés corporativo tiene que darle un, una contraseña. Sí. A ella y ellos le van a mandar la contraseña para cómo comunicar, ¿ok? Para realizar las tareas que usted deja ahí, en la página. En la, en la, la plataforma, eso, eso es lo que tiene que hacer todo allá. Ah, muy bien. Entonces, sí, voy a revisar mi correo porque tal vez ahí me lo han mandado. Por favor, sí. Si no, escríbales ah. y ellos se lo van a enviar, ¿ok? Ok. Thank you. Good night. Have a good night. Excellent teacher. Thank you very much. Thank you. I like that. Have a good night.